morning, Sierra. Do you know what time it is? It's not even seven in the morning. And you're up like bing. You got your first tooth yesterday. That's crazy. What's... She has a tooth. It's a tooth. Far, baratan, baratan. Bang. In the there. Bottom? On the bottom. Yeah. On the bottom or where? 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 Look. Oh, I knew I felt that the other day. See it? I knew I felt that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in there now. Oh yeah. See it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, move your finger. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Baby's first tooth. <laughs> What? That's crazy. I wonder if that's why she was so fussy last night. Maybe. I mean, I could feel her biting on my finger too. Yeah, I felt it today. She bit down on me, but I was like, okay, that really, really hurt. It was Congratulations, like Sierra. You have your first baby tooth. You look at it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's hard, dude. Stop poking her in the mouth. She likes it. <laughs> Congratulations. Many more to come. This is the story of Delos. A sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe it's a great way to support our channel. Well, it's morning playtime, and this morning we're inside because it is raining. But it's nice. Cools things off, cleans off the boat. Oh man, my time lapse fell. That sucks. What do you want to do this morning? Maybe I can practice my song with you again, huh? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> yes, I've never actually played a musical instrument. And I figured since now that uh, Sierra wakes up so early in the morning, I have all this time just sitting here. I would try and learn something really easy. So I started watching these uh, ukulele lessons and now we're going to go down down up down down up down and i'm trying to learn one song uh i've only been doing it a week so it's still pretty rough but sierra seems to enjoy it uh this one's called what do you do with a little nugget early in the morning We'll keep practicing. Family beach mission. <gasps> Discover the world. We're ready to go. I got it on all by myself. Did I do it right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm all protected from the sun. And it's time to go enjoy the beach for the last time at Green Island, huh? Yeah. We're sailing tomorrow. I'm ready though. We, it was great to be able to sit here for a few weeks and just get acclimated to being back up on board and yeah. also on board with Sierra. It was and, a lot uh, in the beginning, it felt quite it overwhelming. It felt quite overwhelming in the beginning, but I think just being here, living a normal everyday life, like relaxing, taking it slow. Oh geez, I'm sorry, I'm blinding you child. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I think that was really good and now I feel a lot more like we have it together a little bit and uh, I want to go to the beach stop talking um, but yeah now I feel like I'm ready to, to go explore and adventure with this little nugget yeah. we're gonna go sailing it's gonna be awesome <laughs> Nobody else here. Especially just us. Just us. Should I sit in my floaty first or should I sit in the water first? <gasps> the question so huh? Maybe I'll sit in my floaty so I can drink my beer. Mmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
She's getting a lot more used to the water, huh? She's getting so used to the water. Wow, what an amazing last day here in Green Island. It's been a really, really cool stay here and I think it's been perfect for us. Because I feel like when we first arrived here, I was definitely a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> it was a lot and I think I tend to put a lot of I don't know, I want to do so good at everything, you know? It's a lot of responsibility to take over, you know, the boat and the videos and the editing, you know, everything. And I find that often I tend to, you know, put quite a lot of pressure where I want to, you know, put amazing posts up every day and I want to be the best mom I can be. And it felt a little bit much. <laughs> I feel like these three weeks have done us really good and um, but now I feel excited to keep on going and to sail and explore some new places uh, but it's definitely been a perfect perfect spot for us. Just sitting on the front porch like people do. Got, got the sunset, got the baby, got a little glass of wine. Oh. Cheers, baby. <coughs> okay, today I'm gonna try and sort out what's going on with the outboard because we went into the beach yesterday and uh, it just wouldn't start and when I could get it to start it was running real rough. Almost like it was running on one cylinder and it wouldn't idle and it just quit so I ended uh, up paddling back to the boat. Luckily we we're downwind and not that far, but uh, it sucks because your dinghy, your dinghy's your car. And right now we're sort of stranded without a car unless we paddleboard somewhere, which actually doesn't work really well with Sierra. I'm gonna start out by testing the easiest thing first, uh, which is the fuel system. And then I'm going to uh, probably replace the spark plugs, make sure we've got no leaks in the fuel, put new spark plugs in there, and we'll see where we go from there. It's always interesting working in the dinghy. It doesn't look like it's moving, but even these little waves, like, they're always bopping it around and it's really easy to drop stuff. But I found one problem. So this uh, fuel line, it might be sort of hard to see. There's a crack right there. And so that was letting air into the system on this end of the fuel bulb. So when I was squeezing it, I noticed a little bit of fuel would come out. Okay, well, it, you can see that really didn't do a damn thing. So I'll change the plugs now. They don't look that bad. They're a little dark though running really rich or there's some uncombusted fuel in there or something. Okay, so they say 0.9 to 1 is the gap. Take it for a little test drive, upwind, first. Woohoo! Running pretty low in the fridge here. We got two apples, not very much. So um, the plan is to s head over again to the big city. I'm just gonna do a little sail and it looks like it is some wind at least. It should take about two hours, I think. Yeah. I got Sierra's car seat set up out there. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. All right. Oh, jeez. Gosh. We're ready. Here we go, Sierra. We're going sailing. Anchors up. Here we go. Bye bye, Green Island. We love you. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Smooth sailing, hey yo. Mayor of Nugget Town, population one. Mm. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Endless entertainment. So I just did a little speed test on my phone device and it looks like the internet is good enough to do like a Instagram live so we're gonna try to um, sail and we're gonna try to do a live feed uh, hold Sierra and film for this video at the same time <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things going on but it's a beautiful day and it's not that hectic wind so gonna give it a shot let me just show you. Oh, Jesus. What? That's it. That's a, a gimbaled antenna. That's where the internet's coming from right now. Uh, yes. I think so. I think so. It should be. It should be on there. <laughs> I think it's on the Where is Delos page. Yeah, if you search on Where is Delos, uh, you should be able to see us as we're moving along. If you want to know where we are at right now. That's where Sierra sort of plays while we're sailing. We just set some mats up there. Works pretty good. The whole cockpit is sort of like a playpen. Uh, I don't know. I guess we just change some things. Like it's changed the way that uh, we've been kiteboarding, you know, because Kaza can't just like tear after me in the dinghy and, and throw Sierra in there with like the kite and the lines and everything. So we've had to change the way we do that and uh, obviously like no scuba diving for us right now because we can't dive in teams. Is there anything else that you wanted to say Kaza? Did you want to wish everybody else? Because I think I want to put the phone down and just enjoy the sail. I guess happy Saturday. Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye. How do you turn this up? End. It's so nice to also like connect with people in that way and you answer some questions and then you say hi to people and then Ooh. that's it. And then we're gonna sail on. Okay. Look at it's the ocean, Sierra. Look at There's water all around us. How crazy is that? Pretty chill downwind. Yeah. We're going to have to jibe soon. Yeah. What a fantastic sail. I mean, look at the boat is like rock solid. There's swells, we're going downwind, but Delos is in her groove and uh, going seven knots. We're there. Just gotta go around that corner. It didn't take us very long, it didn't No, take it took like an hour and a half or something. And the nugget even fell asleep. Nugget crashed in her chair. <laughs> Can you see it? This is just so peaceful right now. Okay. So we're off for today's shopping mission into the big city. It's not so easy with the family. Whoa. Hello, baby child. Hello. Oh, there you go. Hi. To provision Delos for our upcoming sale, we needed to rent a car and head to the biggest supermarket on the other side of the island. Hi, so our goal, we need to provision the boat for three weeks of food for two adults and one mini human. Our goal was to stock up with as many fresh veggies as we could stuff in our little fridge and hope they'd last until our next planned provisioning run in Puerto Rico. Shakim. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. All, all right, we'll see you when we come back. I'm Brian. Brian. This is Karen. Karen. 
Sierra. 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 She's smiling. Yeah. Yeah. She She's happy now. She knows we're going. Okay, do you know how much it was? A lot. Like we Two thousand six hundred and thirty-nine EC. That's like. Uh, that's a lot. That's a thousand US dollars. But for two people for a month? Yeah, I guess it's not that bad. It's just more expensive than we're used to. But they have really good stuff here, which is why we come to this store. Because you can get it cheaper, but I don't want to buy like crappy stuff. It's time to go back to Dallas. And now the real mission starts to get everything like in the dinghy and onto the boat and stuff. So it's definitely a bit of a more of a mission with these two people and a baby. <laughs> if you wonder why I look a bit slick and wet it's because I just splashed my face with water <laughs> so hot slick and wet. yeah like my hair looks like a wet cat and um, yeah but now we pack everything away so the thing that we've learned about this is we don't want this cardboard on the boat because it's quite possible that cockroaches have laid eggs inside the cardboard all this this doesn't really look like it it's too bad, but we still don't want it just in case the bilge gets wet and it turns into a disaster. And also, if these are loose in the bilge, they will roll back and forth. And the metal is so thin, it will actually like touch on the fiberglass and then poof. We've had that happen to a bunch of Cokes and a bunch of beers over the years. So now just putting them in a bag that sort of keeps them contained and the bilge works pretty good for us. Now everything is pretty much put away. What a mission, huh? Now there's only one thing left to do before we could set sail. Head into customs and clear out of Antigua. They got us, Kaza, they got us. They got us, like, because she said that uh, uh, people under the age of 18 can't be crew on a boat, they have to be passengers. And then if you're a passenger on a boat, then they charge you like 30 US as a departure fee. Because I, I originally had her on as like crew. And she's like, the baby can't be crew. I'm like, come on, the baby can be crew. She's like, mm, baby has to be a passenger. So I had to change it and I got charged. <laughs> but we're all, we're all free and clear and uh, stamped. Good to go. Now we can set sail. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I just wanted to give everybody that supported our project over the years a huge shout out. Uh, you guys are the ones that make it possible for us to continue making the videos without the influence and bias of corporate sponsors, which means that we can make the videos that we like and we hope the videos that you like as well. Yeah, so if you want to support the videos, head to svdallas.com forward slash beer and send us some beer love. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hope have you have an awesome day. day. Cheers. Bye. Mm, <sighs> morning beer. Mm. So nasty, too. <laughs> it's gross. What's the shape of that? God, where have we had that thing from? It's all destroyed. I think I bought it in Cape Town. I like you, baby. I like you, baby. Is it time for a nap? Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot.